it's Mike with Utastic. I'm here at GoToConf 2014. I'm standing here with Alex and Joel, who just gave a talk about remote pairing. I uh, actually, uh, what was the title exactly of the talk again? The title of the talk was "The Best of Both Worlds: Remote Pairing in Action." So. Yeah, or with pairing uh, without pants. Pairing without pants. <laughs> yeah, for sure. so, another good title. <laughs> uh, so, well, first, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Um, so, this topic, where where is this coming from, and what what was the topic about? I mean, what I mean is remote pairing, but what about remote pairing? Well, we have both been working for a company that is a startup that's entirely remote. For the past year, we've been working there, and everyone at the company pairs remotely, and it's a very new concept. Most people work in an office where they work from home by themselves, and so we wanted to expose people to this style of working that allows you to have interaction with people, but also allows you to have a more flexible schedule and work from your own environment. Okay, and um, so in the talk, were you giving tips or, or just more sharing anecdotal experiences? Yeah, so it was more like the latter, where we talked about like the anecdotal experiences, the tools we use, some of the ones. It's not like we're saying, hey, use this exactly. It was, you know, we tried this, it didn't work, or it worked well, this is why, and all the stuff that, you know, just helps make our day-to-day -day lives easier so we can focus on actually writing code. Oh, and, and the types of applications are you writing? Are they web applications, Windows applications? What, what platform are you starting from? Yes, they're mostly web applications mm -hmm. um, and some back-end stuff, too, for our clients. And we aim to get everyone using them on Chrome, but yeah. still are stuck with some IDA <laughs> users as well. So. Right. That doesn't die. <laughs> but, but more for the developers who are working in the team. Or, or are you saying that there's developers in the team that are still working on like different Oh, no, the, the developers in the team, we mostly develop our applications for Chrome. Okay. And uh, everybody's probably, what, running MacBooks or are you a Windows shop? Yeah, so we actually have a pretty standard setup where everyone has a MacBook Pro and two Thunderbolt displays, mm -hmm. just so when you're screen sharing, you can kind of have the other person's screen up and also still have room to mm -hmm. maybe Google some stuff on yours. Um, and, you know, everyone seems to be pretty happy with... You know, some Linux flavor, some people might right. prefer actually using Ubuntu, but Mac's close enough that everyone yeah. can be happy with it. Right. And uh, um, so you're, you're working collaboratively. Your teams are remote. I mean, are you global remote or... We are. We try to stick within the four U.S. time zones right okay. now because we try to stick with a consistent workday and core hours for everyone. But that might change in the future. But right now we are spread across the entire continental United States. Yeah. And that, yeah, that's interesting because it brings... So the next question I was thinking about is office hours and, and uh, uh, having collaboration is it strictly uh, developers work it out between themselves or do you have, like you said, an office hours kind of... So right structure? now we pretty much are collaborating the entire day. Mm -hmm. We start at 9 a.m. Central and then just kind of go to the day ends. But obviously like sometimes our team is an odd number because someone's mm -hmm. out or someone's got something going on or just wants to work by themselves for a little bit that day. So we kind of make it work. We are, as we get more people on the West Coast and our team becomes this collaboration of people across multiple time zones, mm -hmm. we are kind of having to move to that, the core hours concept where like, hey, try and be online between these hours mm -hmm. so we can pair then and then either pair with somebody in your time zone at the other end or maybe just work on learning something new. Yeah, and that's interesting. You were saying about pair with somebody in your time zone where – I wondered if there was some kind of striping maybe across time zones where because people just overlapped more, they collaborated more. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but we are growing so rapidly. We've gone from one to fifty to one to twenty five developers, fifty mm -hmm. employees over the past year. And so if we start to get bigger contingencies in each time zone, that might mm -hmm. be somewhere a way that we go. And uh, you alluded to some tools that you use. What is what is uh you described that every developer has two monitors so that way they can they can pair and chat. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the other tools that you use and recommend? Um, so we use right now we're just using OSX Screen Share mm -hmm. uh, for screen sharing. I know there are a lot of other tools out there. Uh, one of the other ones we've liked was Screen Hero, as you said you've used right. that before. Yeah. Um, we also use what's called Zoom for video conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's similar to Google Hangouts that you can just quickly add people and people can drop. Mm -hmm. um, seems to be a little bit better on your computer in the long run. And then uh, we also use Slack, which is just a um, kind of like IM chat where you can have groups. Oh, it's like the, the hip chat. Yeah, it's very yeah, similar to hip chat. So it's persistent. You can search it. Um, you can have different groups. You can email or IM someone directly. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the biggest tools we use. Did I miss anything? 
Um, for our task boards and for transparency between the mm-hmm. different groups, we use Trello. So that's okay. like kind of an online agile task board um, type system where you have user stories and you can move them across and see what people are working on. Right. And um, when you're you're doing your are you are you iteration planning meetings and things like that or how do you structure so on a day to day basis you know people pair off and probably I'm presuming have a daily kind of head, head, yeah stand up or sit down whichever might the case might be but do you how do you structure work in a longer uh, uh, cycle. Um, we so far have had minimal structure. Basically, as the business finds more features they need implemented, they will just add them to the prioritized column. More recently, because work is piling up basically in different areas, we want to keep our task board more clean. And so mm-hmm. we've tried to move more towards one week iterations, but still minimal process. We have a, a brief meeting where we move some cards over into the next week's work, but not a lot of, in, in previous jobs, we've had long strip planning meetings and things like that, and we, we don't want to get into that, so we right. just keep away from So that. try to keep it a little low, low formality. Yes, yeah. yes, low formality. And, uh, and uh, you know, from your presentation, did you present any specific tips or, or um, pitfalls that you would um, so the biggest pitfalls um, are, like we said, the time zones mm-hmm. and uh, whiteboarding solutions. I, you know, and when you're working in an office with someone, it's really easy to just draw on a whiteboard, right. uh, kind of get that going. It's a little bit harder remote, and mainly it's only harder because those tools um, are either like iPad specific, and so they require having an iPad. Whereas things we use like Zoom and mm-hmm. Slack are free. So it's kind of like, let's have this low overhead. Okay. Um, as far as tips, uh, we kind of like, we just try something, see if it works. Yeah. And just don't stick to it. Like, yeah. Or don't, you know, don't say you have to use this. Yes. If it doesn't work, try something else. And be just open for experimentation. Mm-hmm. Don't be too dogmatic because a lot of this stuff is, is kind of new. I mean, the, the yeah. technologies are new. The, the whole idea of remote working is, yeah. is kind of new. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Enjoy the conference. Will do. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.